Howdy folks, Dave here with Ben Teardrop. The snow is finally melted out here in Central Oregon, so we're out here in our favorite little springtime spot, the Crooked River, enjoying the spoils. Got a pretty nice campsite here, as you can see. We're not just enjoying this beautiful day out here on the Crooked, we're actually testing out our new solar setup. We hooked up with Zamp Solar, who is a local solar panel manufacturer out here in Central Oregon, and they hooked us up with this 75 watt panel and so far this panel alone is literally maintaining everything we've got going and we've got pretty much everything going we got the fan going we got the led lights on the outside going the led lights on the inside going we've got the usb power inside charging up a little tablet We've got the LED lights in the cat and the galley going, and then we're charging a Bluetooth speaker and a little game. And even with all this stuff going on, check out our voltage here. We're still looking at 12.9, oh, 12.4 volts. So it's still overcharging with all this stuff going. And we've literally been running it for a good three hours now. One thing a lot of teardrop manufacturers do is they put like a little cut out right here where you can have a cooler that slides out and a lot of people ask me about that and I usually just try to talk them out of it because in my opinion it's just a giant waste of space your cooler takes up a lot of space and to use it you got to pull out a drawer and in the meantime you don't have all this and that's kind of why we make them this way you literally have a ton of space in there to put your pots your pans your cutting board, random nonsense that you bring camping. And this is where we keep the batteries. So you don't have it in the front of your box. You have it all tucked away right here. The fuses, the batteries, this actually has our solar conditioner right here. And that's maintaining, essentially just maintaining a steady charge from the solar panel. And it's all right inside this cubby. So we like to do it that way. We like to give you storage here. Cooler sits here. And since 90% of your camp supplies are already packed in your trailer, the only thing you really have to put in your car is the cooler. So our first solar test is definitely a success. We literally ran everything we could, the fan, the lights, the plugs, charged up everything the entire day long, and we barely dipped into the battery. It's only at 12.3 uh, right now, which means we're not even getting into battery consumption at this point. So I would highly recommend the solar situation. We can add it on for you. And if you go solar, you don't even need to buy the plugs. You don't ever, never, you're never gonna need to even plug in the, uh, the trailer. So, I'm digging this. Let's do some more solar. Thanks for watching. Bye.